he picked me to portray him in the movie PT-109, which was a huge surprise to me. Came as a great shock. Uh, I think it was one of the few mistakes he made in office. I ultimately met him just, just before he was killed. And a uh, wonderful guy, classy. There's a class act. Um, B word. I was say, it's nice to know that if you had an early fan, that that would be a pretty good fan to have. Well, yes, at the time they were all talking about the movie that Red Fay had written about Lieutenant Kennedy's World War II exploits as a PT skipper in the South Pacific and subsequent heroism involved. And they used, it was announced they were going to do a movie, and in Hollywood, everybody was saying, who do you think will do the movie? And I, like everybody else, guessed. I remember Warren Beatty's name was mentioned, and Peter Fonda. And I was doing a movie at Paramount Pictures with David Jansen and, uh, and Debbie Reynolds, God love her. And uh, they came to me one day and said, uh, well, tomorrow, Cliff, they want you at Warner Brothers. Uh, I said, well, no, I'm working on this movie. They said, no, 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 they want you to take these pages, these scenes, to go over to Warner Brothers, learn the words, and do a test for PT-109. And I said, yeah, but you don't understand, I'm doing this movie here. They said, it's been arranged. When I heard it's been arranged, I knew there were some powerful forces. So I went home, learned the words, went to Warner Brothers, did the scene next two days later? Uh, got a call from a friend in New York saying, "What's going on?" I said, "What do you mean?" She said, "Your picture's on the page, front page of the paper with Kennedy. You've been picked to portray him." Well, what he had done was he had said he wanted three things. One, he wanted the movie not to be an exaggerated Hollywood version of what happened knowing Hollywood's tendency to sometimes inflate. And he said, uh, two, he wanted it to be historically accurate. Uh, or to, no, he wanted it to be historically accurate. He wanted it not, not to be an exaggeration. He wanted uh, any monies that might come from that to go to the survivors of the boat that he commanded or their families if they were no longer alive. And three, that he be allowed to pick the actor. And I think Steve, he got tired of looking at it because they were filming a lot of other actors. They were sending these scenes back to Washington. And he, when he had a moment, as I understand, he would tuck in and look at the scene. And I think he got bored with looking at these scenes and said, I don't care if the next one's a girl. That's it. Anyway, he saw mine and, and uh, I was told later on that uh, Salinger said to me, he said, he, he, as soon as he saw you, he, said, he saw the scene, he said, that's it. You said you met him shortly before he was shortly killed. Shortly before he was killed, right. I was doing um, another movie in New York called Sunday in New York with Jane Fonda, mm -hmm. Peter Tewksbury, the director, Rod. Uh, anyway, we were all working one day and I got a call. Rod Taylor was in it. Uh, I got a call um, from Washington. And they said, uh, we understand you're in New York and we know you're busy, but the president wanted to invite you to come down whenever it's convenient. To, when would it be convenient? And I said, whenever it's convenient for the press, it's convenient for me. So I went down on a Wednesday and Peter Tewksbury, the director said, please. So they arranged it. So I went down I, quite early. I wanted to be sure I wasn't late. So I went over the National Gallery, I spent about two hours looking at pictures, didn't absorb anything, but I just didn't want to be late. So I finally went over to the White House and, and he couldn't have been more gracious. We had a lovely chat. We ended up like all fathers talking about our daughters. My daughter was in very little and his daughter was a little older. So like two fathers, we talked about our kids and we talked about the picture and he said he was very happy with what I had done.